Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, Rakwa. Oh, you can do better than that. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 How many of us know that even our club is an offering unto the Lord? Come on, who want to give a cup offering unto the Lord this morning? Give it unto your Lord. Give it unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Once again, we welcome all of you into the house of the Lord. Um, we want to invite our children to come as we pray for them to go to Sunday school. Hi, hi, children. Amen. Amen. All right. All the children, please come forward. Today, I'm going to have one of the youth to volunteer to pray for our children. One of the youth. Hi, hi, children. Please come, come, come. And the youth who is coming to pray, please just walk for the microphone. Just walk. Don't make me call you. Just one of you should volunteer. I'm sure the Lord is speaking to the heart of one of you to pray. Hallelujah. 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 All right, Lavia is coming to do the prayers for our children. Let's give it to her. All right, let's support her in prayer. I'll be glad if you can rise to your feet as we pray for our children, please. Can we close our eyes and bow our heads? Father God, I want to thank you so much that you brought all the children here today, that they're coming to learn about your word and that they'll be able to grow up in this church and to yes. work with your word that will be influencing their lives and in this ministry. Yes. I want to pray that for every lesson that they'll be learning every Sunday, mm. that it will have an impact on their hearts and on their spiritual journeys in their mm. lives, and that you will help them in their school and in their daily walks throughout life, that they will not be guided or strayed down the dark side or the wrong path, yes. that they are able to be walking in the light of the world and the light of your word. Mm. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. God bless you, love you. Hi, hi, children. All right, let's give it to them as they join their parents, uh, their teachers. Oh, give it to them. Give it to them. Please don't stop. Oh, give it to them. Give it to them. Hallelujah. Parent, please allow the kids to go quick, 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 quick. Oh, let's give it to them for the last time. Let's give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. It is time for us to hear from the Lord. Um, the Lord has prepared his vessel to bless our hearts uh, this morning. Um, he's one of our senior elders. Um, they have taken the mantle from their generation and they are passing on or they have passed on to another level of generation but at one point in time you want to bring them in to come and give us some of those old Jade messages hallelujah so without much ado I want to invite the ministry of elder Istus Istis or Istus how you want to pronounce it as I'm offering Paul shall we receive him with a clap offering Hallelujah. The man was Emmanuel and he decided to change his name. So his father went to his school and was asking for Emmanuel. No, no, the guy has changed his name to Eustace. <laughs> Let's welcome him. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, could you please, uh, Royal Choir, Nana, uh, before he, he comes, can you come and sing it for me? Behold, he comes riding on the cloud, shining like the sun. 
and the trumpets call lift your voice it's the year of jubilee out of Zion's hill salvation behold he calls he riding on the cloud shining like the sun and the trumpets call so Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The song just changed my message, but I can't do that. Hallelujah. Behold, he calls. If he calls, will you hear him? If the Lord should call you and I, Will you be able to respond to his call? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, praise you, and bless and exalt your holy name. That indeed you are the one true God. There's no other God. There's no Lord. We praise you. We bless you. We exalt you, Lord. The lyrics of the song says, Year of Jubilee, the 49th year, the Jewish calendar. One becomes jubilee. Where slaves are returned, things that were borrowed are forgiven. Sins are forgiven. And we know that we are forgiven because of what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary. Lord, we bless your holy name. Have your way, precious spirit of the living God. Without you, I'm here for nothing. But Lord, with you, all things are possible. Lord, we invoke your presence. Take absolute control. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. I know you are here, here in your power. I know you are here, Kwame. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. Yeah, in your glory, I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know. I know you are here. You are here, here. In your power. I know. I know you are here. Mm. Precious Holy Spirit. We know.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. There's no other God. Besides him, there's no one else. Besides him, there's no one else. If we should count our blessings and name them one by one, that is when you know, the, really? So the Lord has given me all these things. I've learned to do something, and anytime I do that, I see that God is indeed a good God. Hallelujah. Now, now, not now that I'm beginning. I started earlier on. And I I I I, I read the Bible first person singular. Now I'm using me. Me. My I slot myself to any given space. Hallelujah. Because if it doesn't become specific, it doesn't become dynamic. Hallelujah. Our God is supernaturally natural. And naturally supernatural. Hallelujah. So we must take God serious. Back to where I started that if God should call us, Will we be able to hear his voice? Are we in tune with his frequency? Nobody can count the number of sounds in the air. There are some even people that get gadget that they can get a uh, signal from Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, everywhere, the whole wide world. Things some of us got gadgets that they can tune into and get whatever information or uh, pictures that they want. But if God should call, because the coming of the Lord has drawn near. Listen, now all the festivities, Christmas, Good Friday, Easter. Now what else? Everything is Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. He has done it all. He said, it is finished. Hallelujah. Tetalista paid in full. Everything has come to an end concerning you and I. Hallelujah. Now Christ has fulfilled his portion of the bed. What about you and I? What are we to do? So, my small in my own way my small title is that what are you doing with christ what are you doing with christ once a time once upon a time long time ago long but not too long at least uh, those who didn't know pastor do say pastor do say oh, you know do we remember him do we remember him yeah. He was one day driving. The time we were in Wood Avenue. He was one day driving. He said, all of a sudden, the Lord appeared to him and said, what are you doing with this? What are you doing with this? And then, the holes and the blood dripping. And he vanished. What are we doing with Jesus Christ? So, if I read the Bible, 
the things that the Lord has done for us, has given for us, and now expecting us to do the same. The Lord did not size us up, I mean humanity, up with any created being, but with himself. That we should conform to his son. It's only you and I that we were created in the image and likeness of God. You've seen that we have heard that angels, they say they are powerful, they, this blah, blah, blah. But there's none like you. That's why we don't have any substitute. If there's any sickness or anything, it's the Lord healing that prevails. When he heals, he stands. But fortunately or unfortunately, the Lord is not receiving anything from us. Most of us are going through a whole lot of problems, other, other things, situations and circumstances. And it seems that the Lord is not doing anything about it. And it's true, he's not doing anything. When we read Ephesians chapter 1, 3, that blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly what? places, in Christ Jesus in heavenly places. Usually I, I, I love reading from King James or study from Amplify, but I, I love King James. Blessed be the God, the Lord God of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all heavenly, spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He says everything. So God is not going to heal you, nor me. Jesus Christ can be chained to anything that you want in his word. You cannot accept the word and, uh, and, and thinking that the Lord will do this for you. No. No word of God, no Jesus. He has equipped us, done everything for you and I, for us to carry, to carry on. There was, I've heard it from two powerful men of God. One was Kenneth E. Hagen, Papa Hagen. He said that there was a time that he was talking in a vision. He was talking to Jesus Christ. And just like, okay, could you and I, then all of us, they were, the, the distance says Jesus was hanging, but he was standing and looking at him. It was about one week prayer and fasting. And all of a sudden, Jesus was giving him some revelations. And all of a sudden, a demon shot. The demon, he says that it's not a monkey, but you can, he, he, he couldn't describe the type of creature. And he came in between them. Then he started doing some, uh, some calisthenics things. And uh, uh, smoke, thick smoke started oozing out from him. And he, he blocked him from seeing Jesus. And yet he said that I could hear Jesus Christ speaking. As if the smoke, he, 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 he did not care about the demon or the smoke. And he was still speaking. So he, he was so disturbed. Ah, so Lord, haven't you seen this guy? Why have you allowed him to do this? Lord, haven't you seen him? That's why he was saying. Then he, was, he became agitated, not knowing what to do. And this thing is going on. And he could hear, and he said, some way, somehow, he saw Jesus Christ holding his hands like this, well, laissez faire, his hands. Then he said that he doesn't know what comes. Some anger came upon him, said, you get out in Jesus' name. And the thing fell and dwindled to be like this thing, like my palm. And the Lord Jesus Christ when he was about to open his mouth, the Lord said that if 
you had not commanded him, I could not. See? Lord, did you say you wouldn't or you could not? You are the source of power and you are saying that you couldn't have uh, driven this guy away. So I did not say I will not or I cannot. Then he stayed there. So, Lord, are, are you playing? Or, so, no, I don't play. So, what else? So, he was trying to say that maybe the Lord is mingling this words for a reason. He said, no. Because my word said, after all powers given unto me in heaven and on earth, the next word to humanity says that go in my name. So, everything is in you. Unless we realize who we are, what we have, and what we can do. The achievement of Christ for you and I. From uh, Gethsemane to Praetorium, back to Calvary, everything was for you and I. So what do you want me to do? Assuming that you have filled your fridge to full, then... Uh, Glenn, and the, that small mathematician, what's, uh, CJ, what's the name? Your son. AJ. When AJ comes, Daddy, I'm hungry, you go there and just, okay, help him out. But what about Glenn comes to you and tells Daddy, I'm hungry, knowing that every food that he loves, he likes, he, 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 he cherishes, is in the fridge. As if AJ, what would you do? What would be your reaction? Some of us, it's not the enemy punishing us or anything. It's, it's as a result of our refusal to be who we are in the Lord. Amen. So, nowadays I said to myself that I cannot be less of what he has made me. Praise the name of the Lord. We cannot be less of what he has made us to be. Until we know who we are, enemy will always deceive us and destroy us. He has changed our wavelengths that we can't even hear God. But we call ourselves Christians. We are no longer effective. We even we feel lazy. We don't uh, uh, go out to evangelize. I myself, I am part of it. I have a bunch of even tracks. But I don't remember. It's about one month or some, or two months ago since I gave one to somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. So, you see, because we are not effective, we, we cannot impact who Jesus is. Listen, we have to present the king. But first, we need to represent him. Sometimes our, 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 our behavior is so stinking. The way we approach, even those around us, those in the same office space. Can you be called a child of God or a Christian without you uh, not carrying any Bible or gospel tract? We need to represent the Lord before we can get the privilege of presenting him. What's the name people call you secretly? Brethren, the Lord is coming. This thing has been sounding and ringing in our ears, in our mind, time and time and time and time again. Christ is coming, Christ is coming. But there will be a day, unannounced day, undated day, that is coming. 
Please, let's flip our back a little bit. When we were, some of us, let's say 55 years, 60, 70, oh, let's come, let's, let's, let's start from even five years ago. Sunday school, uh, I've forgotten the song that we used to sing. Uh, so build, I'm building my house on a rock. Uh, we have some poems, recitations. Uh, yeah, so many things about, about uh, uh, the coming of the rains. Of course, yesterday also, I was th thinking about that. That the Lord said, anybody who hears my word and walk with it and work with it shall be compared to a wise builder that select a very good ground. A solid ground. I know the, 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 the builders, uh, they are all mathematicians. They can work things out, okay, this side of the building will come here, this side of the structure, because if you consider uh, the topography of the land, another step, taking these things to factor, they can tell you what to do. Maybe either Lewis can go to your room and say that, okay, this side of the building is weak, so shouldn't cause that much. This, you know, they, they, because that is their job. They know what they are doing. So it says that if you hear my word, apply it, not only hearing, hearing, believing, step of faith, and apply it. I will compare you to a master builder, the one who builds on a rock. The rain, the word of God says that King James says that the rain descended. This is uh, Matthew 5. This is where you will get the story. Matthew 5. Say the rain descended. The wind blew. The storm came. But it was standing on a solid, solid ground. So nothing happened to it. And the one It says the foolish one. Let me use it because that's how the Bible says that. And the one who is foolish built on the sand. We have a song that uh, I'll build my, my song on a, a solid rock. Because you no, know, uh, the others, uh, other side is a sinking sand. Because he said that he built the, well, uh, the building over there and the wind came, the same elements. The rain descended, the wind came, the storm came, and flattened it. Then say, great is the fall. What does that mean? What is, the, 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 this is uh, parabolic, but what is the caveat in this? We must build with the storm in mind. This coming uh, every, maybe every Friday, Sundays, Zoom, Easter, everywhere, is good, but we are building our own building spiritually. A building that needs to be inhabited by the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he knows that we, or he knew, that we cannot do it by ourselves. Now he's on earth. With us in the form of Holy Spirit. To help us build. There will be no defaults. To empower us, to equip us. That's why he has given us all the things that we need that I referred first at uh, Ephesians 1, uh, 3. When you read the Bible, I, had, I got a lot of readings, but I haven't gone to my message yet. But anyway, I see the time, I'll just, I'll just stop. Hallelujah. So please, let's listen. Let's listen. To the word of God. Day in and day out. Every elder, pastor, presiding, everybody who comes to stand here to, uh, for the Lord to use him to expand his word to us is the Lord speaking to us. These are, these are the things that we are going to render an account. What did you do with my son? Now we expect people to pray for us. I'm going through this, I'm going to I'm going to Ghana, there's a powerful pastor there. And I, I think, I know, I know, the God in Ghana is different from God in America. 
So you can go. There's nothing wrong. Maybe you started from somewhere and we are here. So there's nothing wrong going maybe you're old pastor or but there's a reason. If God cannot do it here, he cannot do it in Ghana. The question is not the pastor, but you, you and I, we are not doing anything. What are we doing with Jesus Christ? The first time, Jesus showed his supremacy. Perform miracles, but there was the presence of the Holy Ghost before he started. The Lord has seen us through from Christmas to this time. He has ascended and caused the Holy Spirit to descend on us with the fire, Holy Ghost fire, Pentecost fire. What are we doing with the Pentecost fire? If it, when you said when did the, uh, uh, the witches they flap their this thing a little bit, we are scared. We cannot stand on our grounds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said that if you had kept quiet, that was your own problem. There's no way I could have. No way. Why? Because I've given it to you. I don't have it because I've given it to you. How can I still have what I've given it out? So the power of Jesus Christ resides in you and I. His love, everything from A to Z resides in you. Regardless. Male, female, young, old. So don't belittle yourself. What are we doing with Jesus Christ? From the gospel, from the, you know, uh, gospel, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Synoptic gospel. Luke 10, Ma Matthew 10. He said, God called his disciples, give them power, go. Luke 9 and 10, the same thing. God gave them power, go. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, go. Everywhere he was giving them power because he knows what is in the world. And one of the most, most sweetest verse in the Bible, 1 John 4.4. 4. 1 John 4.4. 4. He says, Greater is he that is in me than the one out there, the one in the world. Then I, 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 I ponder over it a little bit. I said, oh, so God of all this creation lives in me. That means that my spiritual body is very big. If I'm lying, go and ask the demoniac. One person with 6,000 demons and dwelling in him. Then what if God, this big God, lives in you who can be compared to you just 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 think about that one person six thousand breaking chains and fetters you know here and there what about this god who created all things is living in you you got to be proud of yourself i'm, I'm not saying worldly pride no i mean uh <laughs> no spiritual prayer. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so we, we don't have to belittle ourselves. Let's take our position as children of the living God and do things. What are we doing with Jesus Christ? He said that we should go out there, make disciples. He is coming. Most of us, maybe we will go and stand and say, Lord, say, what did you do for me? What did you do for me? How are we going to answer this? Great God. The dead man's seat. What did you do with my name? Oh, Lord, um, I was in the presiding elder, the pastor. Uh, this, no, no, no. Doing something for me is not in this church building, in this sanctuary. 
but using what I've deposited in you to go out there even to have impact or to affect your immediate people. Some of us, because of our lifestyle back home, we cannot even talk to them about God. The way we are. It doesn't give us a space to talk about how good our God is. To talk about the salvation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What are we doing? Brethren, there's not going to be any, time, any uh, soft time or easy time. No. Things will be harder and harder and harder as the enemy is encroaching our territory. We don't know when the rapture will come. And anybody that misses the rapture will be, let's say, I won't say impossible, next to impossible to make it to heaven. Because the word of God says, I've forgotten where it is, it says that if you are not able to walk or run with those uh, foot who are trekking on foot, how much more are you going to run with those on horseback? This is the grace time. This is the time of grace. And if we are beaten about the bush, we think that we have enough time. Sometimes I look at my face and I look at myself, say, hey, and look at my age. So me, <laughs> hallelujah. Oh yeah, sometimes it surprises me. I remember some months ago, no, no, we, last year, get it to the end, we were having a you know, conference call with my, my siblings. You know, my father's side, we are many, about my father's building now. And I think I said something that my elder brother didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't know, he didn't tell me, he didn't show anything. He, even he wasn't on the platform. But later, I don't know what happened because I answered uh, uh, his question. He gave it to me right good. <laughs> he gave it to me. And later on, at first I was laughing, but later I said, mm -mm -mm, you are my brother. You don't go beyond some certain limitation. I may be one of the youngest, but I'm not young that much. I'm in my 60s. So you don't belittle me as maybe 20, somebody who depends on you. The one that I depend on is Christ. I remember the request that I requested about 40, 45 years ago. I told him, oh, bro, I need a uh, uh, calculator. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know whether he will bring it tomorrow. Okay, that was the only thing I requested and even that he didn't give it to me. Okay, that's calculator. Okay, so we, we and for a very long time, for quite about, about 45, 50 years now, we have not seen an eye to eye. You know, but now we're all on the platform. I think even now it's collapsing the platform. But because, yeah, because you know, <laughs> okay, it's well. Hallelujah. It is well. Because now everybody is grown. But if you want to be bossy on what, uh, nobody depends on anyone. And it, it makes it when the sibling rivalry is, 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 is sometimes very, very, very painful, difficult because they can tell you something and you can't reply. <laughs> you know, they hold you, they blow you and hold your mouth not to cry. You see, that's how it is. And these people, we need to tell them the gospel. Because once in a while I was sending some gospel things, but now I've stopped. Look at this. Because of my brother. <laughs> you know, you see, so I'm saying, ah, these are some of the little, little things that blocks us as a Christian. Unforgiveness forgiveness and i've learned that a lot of people that are sent to hell is as a result of unforgiveness it's a very 
big sin, if I can qualify it that way. It's a sin, a very sensitive thing to the Lord and for the Lord. That's why even the, somewhere uh, about two things, if you don't forgive your brother, I cannot forgive you. It means that you have blocked the route with which the Lord will reach to bless you. Hallelujah. We should forget, we, we should forgive one another. Elders, you see, we think we sit very close to one another. So if I step on your foot, just let me go. Don't mind me. Okay. Hey, Michael, the only thing that I've not blown you now. So, but you, don't, don't, whatever, whatever I do, you don't have to take it serious. Sometimes we talk about some people, yes. I'm, I've been a Pentecost man for a long time. Because when we meet, we discuss and get solutions through the Holy Spirit. But sometimes to kind of, kind of things come in. You cannot tell me that. Sometimes we are to affirm this guy, this boy, this girl, this, you know, but we have to discuss you. And whatever is wrong, we have to straighten it. That's why we are here. Then let the elders, let's go and leave Pastor Kelly Balloon. We are here. There's a reason the Lord has planted us here. For a reason, for a purpose. And if we, are, if we don't allow the Holy Spirit to bring his purpose into manifestation, we have a question to answer. The word of God says in Romans, is it Romans 8, 35 or somewhere there around, it says that all the creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So we need to manifest. We manifest Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In character, in works, in serving here, I, I, I can tell you confidently that there's somebody here that has never even lifted a, 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 a a small like like this rubber thing, this plastic thing line. They will see it, but they will pass by as if there's a job for somebody who should clean this room. Because we don't consider this house as our own father's house. Oh, the cleaners. Oh, the deacons. Oh, who do you think you are? And you need a reward from the Lord. Listen, we have to check our ways. I have to be plain because Christ is coming. Hallelujah. Christ, is, do something to serve. Yesterday, I met some of the ladies that I bounce cleaning. They, they, use, they, they have been clean, not they use, they are still. At least I know one or two, a couple of them, but I don't say anything to them. But every time in my mind, I say, God will bless these people. God will bless them. God will. Because there are some certain things that we do here. Don't think that those of us who got the privilege to come and uh, uh, preach to you are the best. Says who? God, no. Listen, God knows each and every one of us. He says that even the hair upon this head is counted. Whatever you are doing, whatever you are not doing, since of omission and commission, the Lord notices everything. So it's about time that you and I should serve. Not only in words. Because the Lord is coming. And he said, that I have my reward with me for each and every one. Hallelujah. Okay, so it's about time. Assume your position as a child of the living God. Assume your position that the, the whole almighty God, the creator of the universe, giver of life. If when he came here, he did not alight in a, a golden crib. Manger. Because of you. Took that fall and grew. Even when people know the miracles, the signs and wonders that he was doing, some people do even do confess that if God is not with him, you couldn't have done this miracle. 
but yet he was crucified. Not even crucifixion alone. The, sometimes the words people do use indirectly, they will tell him that even you are, you are uh, an outcast. You, 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 you are a bastard. We have a father. If, you, if the two of us are talking from the same father, uh, and you telling me that you, you, you are a bastard. Labi, you are telling me that I'm a bastard. You know that we are from the same father. So you are indirectly telling me that I am a game from somewhere that plastered my father's name. So I'm not among you. How would you feel? And there's one thing I, I know because I've lived there a little bit in the Arabian side, in those places. To tell somebody that he's a bastard, hmm. one of you must die. Oh, I'm not playing. To tell somebody that you are a bastard, today I'll show you that I'm a son of my father. <laughs> the Arabian world is different. Okay, so let's be children. Let's be sons and daughters. That's why I'm so, I'm so, I'm so happy about uh, any time I hear this uh, song being sung. Behold what a burner of love that the Father has given unto us. Behold what a manner of love that the Father has given unto us. That we should be called the sons of God. That we should be called the sons. So anytime they sing this song, maybe you know, I, I dance as if I don't have a head. Because it it, it lets me, it, it pushes me beyond everybody that I see. Mm, that we should be called the sons. Can we can we rise and sing this? I will not be long. Behold, what a manner of love that the Father has given unto us. Behold, behold, what a manner of love. Praise the Lord. I can hear only the elders. The rest as if you don't understand the meaning of behold. What a manner of love. Let's sing with conviction that you are not ordinary. Can we go again? Behold, what a manner of love that the Father has given unto us. That the Father has given unto us. That we should be called the sons of God. Oh, that we should be called the sons of God. Listen, listen. Maybe you don't like me. So when you say we, you think that I'm included. So you won't sing it well. So personalize it. That I. I know you don't like me, Lavi. So you personalize it. Are you hearing me? So personalize it. Take me out of it. Behold, what a manner of love that the Father has given unto us. What a manner of love that the Father has given unto us. That, that we should be called the sons of God. Last time. 
Please be seated. Thank you. Listen, can we rise and pray and we'll be gone? To thank that you are a child of God. You are assuming your position as the son of God. Just open your mouth and pray. Thank you the Lord for what he has done. That we are using the name Jesus Christ to do. To become whatever we've been Open your mouth and pray. Masantik in Dayari at Abosko Nea. Shandari. In the Nevaso, Shandari Kapate Kasharova. Daria Sampari Katayata, Zene Kitayando, Skolovich, Daria Takosoria Takaya, Zene Kenda Maria Daria Sampa, Zene Kitayaka Pati, Shanda Biarka Kadaya, Zene Kenda Yara Dabara, Itenierka Patoku, Shande Kadayada, Maniara Takade, Zene Kenda Bayata Kondoye. Siarka kade kada yarka kanda mane yando moto baika tanfariata yeniarka bande kanda ya rato moto yorka barase shara kababa ha shende seri kabayara mani kata yarka in Jesus mighty name we are praying. I want us to pray again, mm. but this time let's pray this way. Yes. That Lord, everywhere I've missed you. Mm. Everywhere. I've missed your glory. Yes, yes. Everywhere mm. I've missed mm. being a child of yours, Jesus. Lord. Bring me back. Holy Spirit, quicken yes. me. Car. Because the word of God said, the Spirit of God mm. that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwells mm. in you. Mm. He will quicken your mortal yes. bodies. Tell the Lord, open your mouth and pray Ka that the Lord should quicken you, that you will become what God Jesus has made you to become. God. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray right now. Shanta Prata Kata Yarika Baba Baba. Stand up, stand as a in the name of Jesus, that you will be so God. In the name of Jesus, 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 in what a manner of love that the Father has given us. Father, we thank you, we praise you, we bless you, and exalt you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What are we doing with Jesus Christ? Lord, we thank you for our lettingness of who we are. Lord, we will use you we will use your name your word your anointing your power your presence in every area of our life to effect to have an impact in this dying world oh lord help us not to allow your blood to be spilled in vain empower us in the power that you have given us you have given us of your blood You've given us for your name, your anointing, and you are here with us as the Holy Spirit to validate 
your will and your purpose concern our lives. Lord, quicken us, Spirit of God, that we will never remain the same. Oh Lord, help us because we cannot do it alone. We thank you that you have helped us already. We thank you now and forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We have an anchor that keeps us all steadfast and sure what a pillow's roll fast into the rock which God ground that family in the sea we have an God bless you, Ada. As our friend Paul, just as I, I was going to mount the, the pulpit, Pastor had the impression that we should pray a little bit. And I'm going to say some of the things that I picked up during the message. And then we'll spend a few minutes, five minutes, just pray. So one of the things that I have here is that God has equipped us with everything for us to carry on with the gospel. He also says that God charged us that we should go in his name. He said that it is because of our refusal to be what God has made us to be, hence where we are. I'll read that again. It is because of our refusal to be what God has made us to be, hence where we are. And then he also say, said that we cannot be less of what God has made us to be. I cannot be less. You want to tell yourself, I cannot be less than what God has made me to be. Than what God, God has, has made, made me, me to be. be. Ah, and then he said this thing that was so powerful. He says that we need to represent Christ in order to present him effectively. How many of us are ready to represent Christ? Uh, Yes, Lord. And then he says that the power of Christ resides in us. So let's take our position in the Lord. And then he says that we need to manifest Christ in every aspect of our lives. Now begin to lift up a prayer where the Lord ministers unto you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That I will manifest to I find myself. In the name of Jesus, oh God. The Father, what you have made me to be, I wouldn't stay for less, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. I will continue in you. In the power of the 
spirit in the name of Jesus in the name of the in the name of the in the name of the in the name of Jesus in the name of the 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 Say to our elder, what do we let's bless him? Let's bless him. God bless you, elder. As some offering point, amen. It is time for us to bring our tithe and offering unto the Lord. And the Bible says that we should remain faithful with our 10 percent unto the Lord. If the Lord touches your heart to go beyond, God bless you. But we will prepare ourselves to bring our tithe and offering unto the Lord, and we encourage each one of us to. I think last week we were not here and so we are bringing last week tight and today's one too so please don't forget don't do the wrong calculation do the calculation well if you need help with some math and you have Adam mic here he's a math teacher he will do some calculus for us <laughs> all right so let's rise to our feet and please uh let's project the various means that we can give and rise to your feet with your offering on your tight and let's pray rise to your feet with your if you are going to use your electronic devices just lift it up unto the Lord 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 and now pray to the Lord pray to the Lord that God I'm being faithful I'm bringing this 10% I'm bringing this offering to you and tell God what is on your heart tell God what is on your heart Today you are praying on your own offering and your own tithe. Pray. Car, let it be on your heart. Is it about job? Is it about children? Is it about your child? Is it about schooling? Is it about your profession?
Just say it unto the Lord. Yeah, by your ministry. Just talk to the Lord. Just talk to the Lord. Just talk to the Lord. Let's bring our prayer to a close. In Jesus' name, may the Lord bless the prayers that we have said unto him regarding our Titan offering. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Our choir would help us to bring our offering. So as is custom, we're just going to come from the back. And as you are coming to give, please give cheerfully. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Because he's God and his mercy shall endure. Because he's God and his mercy shall endure. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. today's announcements welcome to the church of Pensacola. so i'm glad everyone came here to worship with us today if there are any first time visitors may you please raise your hand we have a clap offering for the service today amen i'm now going to be presenting today's weekly this week's schedule So on Wednesday, we'll be having our Bible studies, 7 p.m. It's going to be on the Zoom line. On Friday, we'll have our Panera Hour, also at 7 p.m. It will be 
on the Zoom line and also in person, but I highly encourage you to come in person. And on Sunday, we're going to eclipse the week with our Sunday service starting at 9. As always, please come on time and fellowship with us. Amen. So for the atmosphere of prayers, we'll cover that later, but it will be occurring on the Fridays that will be presented from 7 to 9 p.m. Amen. Our local ministries, youth, 8 from 9 p.m., we'll be having our um, our Bible study from on the Zoom line, as always. It will be posted in the group chat, so please, if you're not in the group chat or if you don't receive text messages, please reach out to Roger. Um, Saturday, we're going to be having our SWAT from 10 to 11. It will also be on the Zoom line. Join and pray. Amen. So our women's ministry will be presenting their weekly nutritional highlights when they meet. Please join and learn how to live a healthy lifestyle. Amen. Our district water baptism will be occurring April 29th. And our presbytery dawn prayer will be also happening April 29th in person. Please join if you're a part of the presbytery and reach out and pray. <laughs> Our regional 11th hour prayers will be happening April 30th from 10.30 p.m. to 12 a.m. So please come and pray as always. And Sight and Sound Trip will be happening at a date that has not been determined yet, but we'll be receiving more news from that in the upcoming weeks and months. Amen. So we'll be happening. We'll be having our graduation party, <laughs> celebrating, also a birthday party, celebrating um, our elder, um, Elsie Kwateng, and his wife. Please come and attend. It'll be happening May twenty seventh, twenty twenty three, seven p.m. to eleven p.m. It'll be a black tie event. So please come, very fancy or formal. <laughs> And also, uh, no children, so please do not bring your kids, but <laughs> please dress very nicely and attend. Amen. Please reach out to our elder Robert Sopmo and our deaconess Emmanuel Osamo Bating and express your condolences for the loss of their fathers. Amen. Last, we'll take the birthdays. We have our sister Josephine and Kansas' birthday, April 15th. We have Annalie Ose Bonsu's birthday, April 18th. We have our birthday. Next week, April 23rd, <laughs> we have your Boro Oche's birthday, 25th April. We have Jeremiah Robey's birthday, 26th of April. We have Elder Kojo Obaje's birthday, April 27th, and Nana Akwe's birthday, April 29th. So please reach out to these people this week and the following week. Amen. That will be all our announcements for today. God bless you and have a wonderful week. Isn't he doing a great job? Amen. The church is in good hands. Amen. Uh, just a few highlights about the announcement for our presbytery church workers. I like to emphasize that, okay? So if you're part of, you do something in church, please, please, you're highly encouraged to join us um, April 29th. It's 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And it's going to be here. The first time we had it, it was on the phone. But this time we'd like to see everybody as we pray together. So please put on your calendar and plan to be here on time. Two hours to pray, to lift up the leaders and also our members. Amen. And for Elder Osa Kwatin and um, Deaconess Kwatin's uh, birthday celebration, they'd like to emphasize that it's a black tie event black tie event and no children amen our last announcement i we just received this from the region the region will be having an early morning with uh mrs joanna Bedu wood um this tuesday at 5 a.m so please uh, women's ministry you're being informed and encouraged to attend it's a different uh, phone number so please note it's not the uh, district number, okay? We'll post this on our various platform. 
And in the evening of the same day, they'll be having a marriage um, session as well. So we are all highly encouraged to join, including the men. God bless you all and have a blessed day. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. For the month of April, our theme for the month is personal devotion and encouraging small group prayers. And I believe that we have a lot that we can focus on for the week based on the word that came. So I hope you jotted down some notes and you're going to use that to develop your personal devotion. God bless you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we all be on our feet? We want to say a big thank you um, to all of us, PIWC. We did great during the Easter convention. So um, on behalf of the regional head, myself and all the presbytery, we want to say a big God bless you. Amen. So look at the face of your brother or sister. I have still one minute and tell him that God richly bless you. And we have a baby in the house. We, we're doing good on internal evangelism. Hallelujah. Elder Otre Dacons have welcomed a baby girl. So let's give it glory to God. Let's give glory to God. Amen. So please give them a call. Yeah, um, we are expanding. Hallelujah. And please, I want to extra, I want to emphasize this coming Friday. I don't know if you want to throw that on there again, the atmosphere of prayer. It's an in-person event. Hallelujah. We am, I'm having about four, the next four Fridays by the grace of God. I hope nothing comes. But we are having it in person. Amen. Um, what we fail to tell you is that if we see in person, we are happy. Uh -huh. It encourages us. Sometimes that is lost in translation. But if I see you, I'm happy. Amen. So on this Friday, if the only thing that should keep you away is if you are working. Uh -huh. That one, we pray that the schedules will change. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, we want to this year, we want to enter into another level of prayer. Um, that is why for the next four, please throw it on, on there if you don't mind. For the next four Fridays, um, the pineal hour, we are, we are dubbing it atmosphere of prayer. We want the atmosphere in your house to be saturated with prayer. We want your prayer life to be solid. We also want to see results. Hallelujah. We want to see what? Results. Amen. So please, I'm encouraging all of us, all church workers, leaders, members, bring your children. And the only reason why I'm believing you that you'll not be here is that you are working. Amen. Let's lift up our hands. What would you do with Christ? What a word. That wounded hands, that does wonders and miracles. That wounded hands with the nail pierced in it with blood dripping is able to reach out to anyone it does not matter how far you've gone the most important thing is that you realize that Christ has indeed been given to us I know you want to go but let's sing the song on Christ the soul let rock I stand all of a ground is sinking all of the ground is sinking my hope is built on nothing that Jesus blood and the righteousness I dare not try the sweetest flame but holy lean on Jesus on Christ on Christ the solid rock I stand on other ground is sinking all other ground is singing. on Christ the song let rock all of the ground is singing all of the ground all of the ground is singing. may the one who has lifted you from the miry clay and
placed you on a rock to stand. I am talking about Christ, the risen Christ, the resurrected Christ, the I am that I am. May he keep you. May he guide you. May he protect you. May all his words concerning your life, may it come true now and forever. In the name of Jesus, walk out of here in the joy of the Lord. May you experience another dimension in Lord. May the Lord keep everything that concerns you. And may you enjoy him even now and throughout the whole week till we meet again on Friday in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. And look at your face of your brother and say that I love you with the love of the Lord. And I will see you on Wednesday and Friday. God bless you. Sister Akosia, please don't go. I want to talk to you.